What to think about prehistory? Yes, today we are going to take you through the prehistory. Historians rely on written records and archaeological evidence to understand more about human history. They use these resources to divide human existence into five main historical eras prehistory, classical, Middle Ages, early modern, and modern eras. Historians study the past to learn about how people lived. They look at old writings and things they find underground to learn about contrasting times. The prehistory era. Long, long ago, before people wrote things down, there was a time when humans first appeared on Earth. This time is known as prehistory. It's when our earliest ancestors used stones as tools to survive. This period goes way back about 2.5 million years ago to 3000 BC or BCE. Contrasting times in prehistory are named after the kinds of materials people used, like the Stone Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. People lived during this time, but there were no written records of what they did. We call this time prehistory because it happened before history was written down. This era was a time of tremendous changes, from learning how to hunt better to growing food and making art and tools. Even though we do not have written records from back then, we can learn a lot from the tools and things people left behind. This time laid the foundation for how human civilizations would develop later. The Stone Age was a time long ago when people used stone tools. It began when the oldest stone tools were found, about 3.3 million years ago. This period is split into four parts, the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic periods, and Chalcolithic period. These divisions are based on how good people were at making and using tools. In the Paleolithic, tools were simple and people were hunters and gatherers. The Mesolithic was a bit more advanced, and in the Neolithic, people started farming and using better tools. Lastly, the Chalcolithic marked the start of using metals. This shows how people and their tools changed during the Stone Age. The Bronze Age, an era of innovation and change. Imagine a time when people didn't use metal tools but relied on stones. Then something amazing happened. Humans started to work with metal. This era, known as the Bronze Age, brought significant changes to how people lived and interacted. The birth of bronze. From copper to strong tools, humans in the Middle East started using copper to make tools. But they discovered that by adding tin to copper, they could create something even better. Bronze. Bronze was stronger and more durable than copper, making it perfect for tools and weapons. From stones to swords, advancements in technology. Before the Bronze Age, people used stones for tools and weapons. But with the invention of bronze, everything changed. The Bronze Age brought new technologies, like writing systems and the wheel, which made life easier and more advanced. Rise of powerful societies, states and kingdoms, during the Bronze Age, powerful societies with central governments emerged. These kingdoms interacted through trade, war, and the sharing of ideas. Prominent kingdoms included Sumer in Mesopotamia and Athens in Greece. The Bronze Age comes to an end, enter iron. The Bronze Age came to a close around 1200 BC with the discovery of an even stronger metal, iron. This marked a new chapter in human history, the great civilizations of the Bronze Age, Sumer. In the Mesopotamian region, Sumerians established city-states like Eridu and Uruk. They used bronze and invented writing. Babylonia. In Iraq, the Amorites built the city of Babylon and created a famous legal code. Assyria. This empire stretched across modern Iraq, Turkey, and Egypt, known for its powerful military. China. Bronze Age civilizations centered around the Yellow River during the Shang and Zhou dynasties. They used bronze for chariots and more. Greece. Greece became a hub of activity with the Cycladic, Minoan, and Mycenaean civilizations. They traded and developed advanced cultures. The mysterious collapse, the end of the Bronze Age. Around 1200 BC, something strange happened. Many powerful civilizations suddenly collapsed. Droughts, earthquakes, invasions, and more might have caused this mysterious event. The Bronze Age was a time of innovation where people learned to work with metal, built powerful kingdoms, and experienced both progress and challenges. The Iron Age marked a pivotal moment in human history 
when people decided to trade in their trusty bronze for the new kid on the block, iron. But hey, it wasn't love at first sight. You see, at first, iron tools were a bit underwhelming compared to their bronze buddies. They were like the shy newcomers in the tool world, not as strong and a bit on the weak side. But hold on. The plot twist came when someone had the genius idea of heating iron with a dash of carbon to create something extraordinary, steel. The Hittites, chilling in what's now Turkey, might have nailed this steel-making secret. And so, the Iron Age emerged around 1200 BC, waving goodbye to the Bronze Age and saying, hello, to epic civilizations. The Mediterranean, the Near East, buzzing with activity. The Mycenaeans in Greece and the Hittites in Turkey were strutting their stuff. But, spoiler alert, troubles like droughts and earthquakes crashed the party. And then, just like that, the Iron Age's grand entrance was followed by civilizations taking a nap. But hey, the Iron Age didn't throw in the towel everywhere at the same time. It had its curtain call at different moments across the globe. Herodotus started spinning his historical tales around 550 BC. In Scandinavia, the Vikings were the ones to wrap things up around AD 800. And let's not forget the epic clash with the Roman Empire in Western and Central Europe. 10. Now let's zoom in on Greece. After a booming Bronze Age, Greece hit a rocky patch. The Mycenaean scene crumbled around 1200 BC, leading to the Greek Dark Ages. Think abandoned cities and a population roller coaster. They even shifted from city life to raising animals. But fear not, because after about 300 years, Greece made a comeback in the classical era. Meanwhile, in the Near East, the Persians weren't just nomads anymore. They mastered the art of steel, crafting weapons that were sharper and deadlier. Cyrus the Great led the first Persian Empire, dominating a massive chunk of the world map. Over in Europe, the Celts were the cool kids on the block. Living across the continent, they built hill forts, farmed, and lived in round houses. But wait, let's talk about those mysterious bog bodies found in northern Europe. Preserved in peat bogs, these ancient souls met violent ends. Since the Celts didn't leave written clues, the why remains a puzzle. Some say it might be a religious thing. Intriguing, right? So, there you have it. The Iron Age, a time of iron willpower, epic innovations, and cryptic discoveries that continue to baffle use. Until next time, keep exploring history's secrets. Who knows what other mysteries are waiting to be uncovered? If you wish to know more about Vikings and other prehistoric topic dimension, it in comment box do like, share, and follow us. Thank you.